Hello students, so today we are going to discuss the assessment problem 7.18 uh, which is also related to the transient response of a circuit. So here we are given a circuit which is in the form of a figure E7.8 in which we are asked to find the value of the I0 of T for time greater than 0. Okay, so now we are going to follow the same procedure which we have used in our previous lectures and according to that procedure, first of all, we have to consider the time less than zero. So when the time is less than zero, what will happen? So we can very easily see that at the time less than zero, the switch here is in the closed position and this inductor is now has achieved its steady state here in this circuit. So that's why in steady state this inductor will behave as a short circuit for a DC circuit. So uh, the equivalent circuit here will be equivalent to like this is the resistor. The switch is now shorted here this is another resistor the voltage source here so the value of this is now 4 ohm 6 ohm this is the voltage source of 12 volts similarly the inductor is now also short circuited here so it can also be written like this one here this one as well this resistor and at the end we have the current source here okay so the value of this current is now 3 amps this is 3 ohm this is i naught of t this is 3 ohm okay so now we have this circuit in which uh, we have to find the value of the I naught of T for time less than zero. So here we can very easily see that we can solve it by using many methods, but the most feasible method here can be the node voltage method of noted analysis in which we are considering here the values V1 and V2 here. Okay, so the currents which are flowing away from this node are basically i1 i2 and this i3 similarly the currents which are concerned with the node which has a voltage v2 are basically here here and here as well so uh, let me call it i4 i5 i6 okay and also i am taking this node as a reference node so when I will take this one as a reference node and I will solve the overall circuit here, what I will get here, I will get some equations and in those equations what I will have, let me write the values of those equations. So the equations which I will have here will be 9V1 minus 4V2 equal to the 24 and this is equation number one and similarly equation number two is minus v1 plus 2v2 equal to the nine this is the equation number two i'm not solving this equation because of the lack of the time and similarly i have solved these type of uh, circuits and by using the method which is the nodal analysis in my previous video so there is no need to solve them again so therefore i am writing these equations and from these equations solving these two linear equations what i will get i will get the value of v1 as the 6 volts and v2 will be equal to the 7.5 volts okay so when the value of v2 is known i can very easily see that from this v2 i can find the value of i naught of t so i naught of t is basically the i5 here so the value of i5 is v2 divided by 3 so v2 is already known so 7.5 divided by 3 is 2.5 amps and this is also the value of i naught of 0 okay so we have found out the value of the current 
for as a as the initial condition here okay so that is the condition which we have found out for the time less than zero or the instance when the switch is uh, switch will change its position okay so now let's move down here and here we can see that for time greater than zero the switch here will change its position and will be open here so when the switch will be opened the overall branch here will be neglected and the circuit we will have is here this one okay and this one so now here this is the 100 milli henry which can also be written as the point 1 henry here this is 4 this is 3 this is 3 and this is 3 amps and the current here is again this i naught of t and i want to find out the value of i naught of t for time greater than 0 okay so now we can also very easily see that the current here let me call it is so this is let me call it is this is the source current when it will reach this node it will be divided into the two currents what one will be this i node and the other one will be here and let me call it il okay so according to this circuit i s is equal to the i naught of t plus i l or i naught of t is also equal to the i s minus i l or as the value of i s is known so therefore i naught of t is equal to the 3 minus I L and let me call it equation number 3 this is my equation number 3 here and here the value of I naught of t is found out okay uh, now let's move on and here we can see that if this is the value uh, and let me call it V3 here so according to the uh, current here which is I L so the value of I L here is this V3 minus the value or the voltage across this inductor here divided by the total resistance which is coming in this way. So uh, the resistance here, uh, the resistances here are basically the 3 and 4 and the summation of these two is 7 or by arranging it I can also see that V3 minus VL minus 7IL that is equal to 0 or I can also know uh, I can also write here the value of V3 and the value of V3 is basically this one okay as we know that or let me write it here so the value of V3 is basically the I naught of T multiplied by 3 okay so now putting it here what i will get i will get here 3 i naught of t minus v l minus 7 i l and that is equal to 0 uh, now uh, using or transforming this i naught of t in terms of the i l here i know the equation 3 here and uh, using this equation 3 here again what i will get i will get here 3 minus i l minus v l minus 7 i l that is equal to 0 or it will be 9 minus 3 i l minus v l minus 7 i l that is equal to 0 or rearranging it let me rearrange it so i will get the 
what it will be equal to rearranging it and uh, moving the negative uh, variables to the other side what i will get here i will get here the vl plus 10 il that is equal to the 9 okay uh, and uh, similarly now writing the values here so vl is equal to the l d i l divided by dt plus 10 i l equal to 9 okay uh, so that is the equation here let me move down now writing the value of l which is the point 0.1 and d i l divided by d t plus 10 i l equal to 9 dividing both sides by 0.1 so what i will get i will get d i l divided by d t plus 10 over 0.1 i l is equal to the 9 over 0.1 okay uh, again solving it i will get d i l divided by d t plus 100 i l equal to the 90 so let me call it equation number four okay uh, so this is my equation which is basically the first order non-homogeneous equation so here what we have to do we have to find the value of i l and i can very easily see that the value of i l the general solution of i l is basically k1 plus k2 exponential of minus t over tau similarly from the equation 4 i can see that the value of tau is 1 over 100 or 0 0.01 putting it here what I will get the value I will get here will be I L K 1 plus K 2 exponential of minus T over 0 0.01. Okay. Uh, let me call it equation number 5. Here uh, we can we what we have to do now we have to convert this I L into the I naught because in finding the initial condition we have found out the value in terms of the i naught of 0 but here what we have we have here i l so it will not be feasible for us to solve this equation in terms of i l but it will be good for us to solve it in terms of i naught of t uh, so uh, here again we have this equation according to which the i naught of t is equal to 3 minus i of l similarly i of l is also equal to the 3 minus i naught of t so putting that value here as i l is equal to 3 minus i naught of t or from this the value of i naught of t is equal to the 3 minus i l so now putting uh, this equation here putting 5 in uh, equation 6 what i will get i will get i naught of t is equal to the 3 minus k1 plus k2 exponential of minus t over 0 0.01 okay uh, so now let me call it equation number 7 now again following all these steps here put the value of k1 in equation 4 so putting that i will get here 0 100 k1 equal to 90 and from it i will get k1 equal to 0.9 okay uh, we will pick it and put it here so i will get here i naught of t equal to 3 minus 0 0.9 that is 2.1 plus k2 exponential of minus t over 0 0.0 one okay so that is equation and here in order to find the value of k2 i will put t equal to 0 and by putting t equal to 0 i will get i naught of 0 is equal to the 2.1 plus k2 
okay and from here i will get the value of k2 as okay sorry here it was minus okay so here again this is minus so from it i will get minus 0 0.4 and i will take it and put it inside the equation number 8 and after putting it what i will get i will get i naught of t is equal to the 2.1 plus 0.4 exponential of minus t over 0 0.01 for time greater than 0. So, that is basically the answer of my question in which I have found out the value of i naught of t uh, for the time greater than 0 and that is basically the general solution of my uh, question here and uh, that is the end. Uh, in which I have uh, covered the basic steps or find for finding the solution of the transient circuit. So, that is it for today and uh, take care of yourself. Thank you for your time.